Okay, let's start on our travel service. I thank God for giving me this opportunity once again, and I'm very thanks to Dr. Victor. He has given me once again to lead the service again. So to begin with the prayer, I request to Brother Siwak Ram for the opening prayer. Thank you. Let's pray. We bow down our heads and close our eyes in the presence of our Lord. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, mighty Lord God, oh, Heavenly Father, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you thank you, Father. We give you blenier thank you, Father. We lift up our hands and give you blenier, blenier thank you, Father. You saved us. You have saved us, Father. Jesus, thank you, Father. Father, save us in our coming days, in our future, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Lord of the Lords, Father. You are the God of the Gods, Father. Father, you are our sustainer, Father. You are our master. You are our teacher, Father. Thank you, Father. You are our shadow, Father. Jesus, thank you. Thanks for your glory, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, now we are going to start our program in your presence, Father. Father, thank you, Father. Father, we give all program in your mighty hand, Father. Father, I give all, all brother and sister and son in your mighty hand and their family, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for your glory, Father. I rebuke all evil power and illness in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father. Ask in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Our request to Pastor Rajan to sing a song for opening. Praise the Lord to all this evening. God bless you all. Okay. Then, uh, sure, please uh, allow me to share uh, that screen. Okay, we'll sing this song. Oh, Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed of renew. Okay, we'll sing together. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed of renew. from the grave. For I come to know of the weakness I see in me, will be straight away. Oh, 
Thank you so much. God bless you to all through this song. Please. Thank you very much, Pastor Essence. That was a very, very amazing song, wonderful song. Now I request that to Dr. Victor to take the time for the word, deliver over your words. Sir Victor. Victor, sir. Sound, sir. Okay. Good evening to everyone. Uh, thank you very much, Pastor Rajan, to sing a very lovely song and a very meaningful song that encouraged to us to, to feel joy in our heart and to grow our spiritual lift up. And I thank you to Brother Minting for big up of the time and managing of the times very well for getting forward of our program. And I would like to extend my joy and my thanks for to each and every one of you who are here. And you all are, I have no doubt, you are the one who loves to God. The one who loves to God is the love to his brethren. That is the Bible say, the one who loves the God must love to his brethren. If he could not love with his brethren, how could he love to God, which is not seen in our eyes, and which you have seen with your eyes with your brother? And if you cannot love to them, how could you love to God? Whether you may say, I love my God, I love my God. This is a lie. It is a lie. So today, it's not, uh, it's time is given to our brother Bong Moi, but he could not come up to pick up of the time, but no problem. We all are theologians. We had already prepared for ourselves to fight the betters. The better may come at night, the better may come at evening, the better may come in morning or at noon. We are all the time in ready. Yes, Apostle Paul has said, in season and out of seasons, I am ready to preach the word of God. I must preach the word of God. I must preach the gospel of the Jesus Christ because the gospel of the Jesus Christ is the power for salvation, for the eternity life. So my dear brother and sister, we are especially chosen people to be the minister of Jesus Christ in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, <clears throat> We all must be glad and we all must be joy for God has given unto us of this position and of this business. We must go everywhere and we must tell the word of God and we must tell the gospel of the Jesus Christ. 
we will never be get dire for telling the word of God. We shall never, never be faint and we shall never, never be get dire to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to everyone. Because it is our business God has hand over unto us. We will do that. We will gladly do that. And for today, for our relationship, what is the relationship you and I? And what is the relationship between in each and every one of us? What did the Bible say? We are a stranger or are we brother and sister or we are physically in the physical sake we had a different state we had a different country and we had a different color of our face and we had a different concept of our thinking and we had a different plan and plans uh, and way of speaking and we are become a stranger in the physical sake. But in the gospel sake, in the sake of the gospel, we are no longer a stranger. We are no longer aligned. For the Bible say in Psalm number 133, in Psalm number 133, verse 1, there when we see behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity look how it is the beautiful and how it is the good that the brethren live together in unity Unity in Christ Jesus. Unity in our mighty God, our Father. There is none any other life more than beautiful than the life that living in Christ Jesus. Any people may live in the luxury life and the beautiful life with the worldly life, with the carnal life. And these people may have Lord of things and Lord of belonging in the worldly properties. But the one that who live is a poor in the worldly belongings and worldly wealth and worldly properties. However, if he lives in Christ Jesus, and if Christ is live in him, there is none any other life more than beautiful than that life. The life lived in Christ Jesus is more better than any other life. So, this Bible say, the brethren live together in Christ Jesus how it is pleasant and how it is beautiful and how it is good and how it is lovely. So who are they? If we open in Matthew, if we open in Matthew chapter 12, verses 46 to 50, Matthew chapter 12, verses, 46 to 50, when we see to there, we know how Jesus Christ is talking when some disciples are speaking to Jesus. Look, your brethren, your mother, your sister are in outside seeking to you to speak to you. But Jesus said, who is my brother? Who is my my brethren, who is my sister? I have no sister. I have no mother. I have no brother. 
but everyone who are here and who are hearing the word of what I speak to here, whosoever hearing of my word, they are my brother, they are my sister, they are my brethren. And none any other, I do not have mother, father, and sister for Jesus' sake. That, that is the sense that, in a sense, Jesus Christ talking about to the disciple is the one who believes the gospel of the Jesus Christ, the word of the Jesus Christ, the one who have a desire to hear the word of God. The one who are happy and glad to hear the word of God. The only the brother of the Jesus Christ. The only the family of the Jesus Christ. The others who do not like to hear the word of God. The other who don't want to listen the gospel of the Jesus Christ. The other who do not like to come to worship to Jesus Christ. Jesus will say, they are not my brother and my sister. They are not my family. For which Jesus say is that. So if we are the family of the Jesus Christ, we must not be selfishness. We must be selfless persons. Jesus do not surface. Jesus is a selfless. Jesus do not think for himself. So we must live yes a selfless life. So today the Christian are looking forward. Many Christian are living yes a selfishness life. If we are living so what is the difference between we are and the non-Christian? If the non-Christian are living in that way, if the Christian are living in the same way, what is the difference between you and I and them? In the namesake, we are family of the Jesus Christ and we are living in the grace of our almighty God and our almighty God is our protection. And our almighty God is our everything. And our almighty God goodness is our goodness. And the joy of our Savior Jesus Christ is our joy. And the blessings of our almighty God is our blessing. And at least if we cannot live in the different way from them, and if we live in the same way with them, what is the Christian name that we are wearing in our head? And what is the name that we are carrying as a Christian? We are. So my dear brother and sister, we must live in the different way. We must not live in the same way with the worldly people. And for which Jesus said, everyone who, who are here and hearing the word of I speak, they are my brother and sister. So the brother and the sister and the mother and the father of the Jesus Christ, they must be glad and they must be joy for the word of God. For the gospel of the Jesus Christ, they must be joy. They must be glad. And their desire must be the gospel of the Jesus Christ. Yes, some miss has said in Psalm number 122. When they say that, let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad. I am glad. When they say to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I am so glad. I am so much joy in my heart. So this is the most joyful life to go to the house of the Lord and to have worship in the name of God and to have prayer and to have thanksgiving 
and to have praising with the song of God in the house of the God. So this is the most happiest and this is the most joyful time for the child of the living God. Yes, Samis has said in the house of the Lord. What is the house of the Lord? The Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 say, wherever you get together in my name, in the midst of you, my presence is there. My presence is with you. We have no doubt. We only two or three, four, we get together here. But we have joy. We fill with the joy of the, our Christ Jesus. Why? Because in the midst of us, the presence of the Jesus Christ is right now with us here. We are joy. There is none any other life more than joy than this life which we are get together here. What do you want more than this life? We sing the song. I rather have Jesus than have land and house and property and big, big car and many, many luxury life. I rather have Jesus than serve all God. I rather have Jesus than have riches and I rather have Jesus than everything this world for today. See that? Silver and gold than have the silver and gold. I rather have Jesus than have big land then have a big positions of the property, then have a big things in the wise domain of the kingdom. Still, I rather have Jesus for me. I rather have Jesus. So for today, our joy is only in Jesus. Since Jesus Christ is chosen unto us, you do not choose to Jesus. I do not choose Jesus, but Jesus chose to you. Mr. Wilson, you will be the pastor in my gospel. Jesus chose to you and Jesus appoint to you. Mr. Rajan, you are not chosen to me, but I choose to you. You will be the pastor in my gospel, in my church. Huh? Pastor Siwa, you are chosen by me, not chosen by you, by yourself, that everyone, Jesus Christ is chosen to you. Don't think that we are chosen. Don't think that in our goodness, we are worthy to be chosen to Jesus Christ. But the Bible has very clearly said that in John chapter 15, verse 16, you did not choose me, but I choose to you. I am chosen to you. I have chosen to you. You did not choose me. I have appointed that to you. I choose to you and I have appointed that to you that to do the work of the gospel, to preach the gospel work of Jesus Christ. I have chosen to you. So today, how beautiful our life is, how glad our life is when we are nothing, Christ to send unto us to be his minister. And when we are nothing, Christ to send unto us and appointed to us to do the work of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are more than better than any other life. We don't want any more in any other life. But what we like is only Christ Jesus. So that now the Bible say for Christ is chosen unto us to do his work. So now, what we have to do, whatever we do, or wherever may be, or whatever we may be, we must do that to, to the glory of God. We must do that for the glory of Jesus Christ. We must do that for the expansions of 
the kingdom of Jesus Christ. The Bible say in <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, whether you eat, whether you drink, or whatever that you may do, do that to the glory of God. Do it that to the glory of God. So that today, many things are sit together for the judgment regarding for the eating, regarding for the drinking. What do you eat? Is anything that you eat is a sin? Yes, there may be some things may be sin. What are they? That the food like intoxicated things, that the food like to kill of our physical life, like many uh, tablet, like many any others which are intoxicated to us, or drink like a wine, drinking too much, or such kind of drink many things that is drinking yes an addict that in the addict. These all are the sin. For drinking all these things, there is no glory for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> is there is the way to glory for Jesus Christ drinking with the wine, too much wine, and become stronger? No. And the food, such, such kind of thing? No. And doings, uh, fornications, and doings, immorality, and doings, idol worship, and doings, uh, fighting, and doing of factionalisms and divisions one each another, and doing that to fight one party and another party, one people and another people encouraging to fight to them and to bring to them some <clears throat> disputes between them. Is there is any way that to glory for Jesus Christ? No, there is no anything so that whether we may drink, whether we may eat, whether we may do anything, we must all that do it that for the glory of God. Because this is the will of God. We have to do it that. So my dear brother and sister, the Bible has said a new commandment I have given unto you in John chapter 13, verse 34 to 35. A new commandment I have given unto you that you love one another, yes, I love unto you. If you love one another, you are no more any other people. You are only my disciple, Jesus Christ said. You are only my disciple if you are love one another. That is the new commandment I have given unto you. So today, if we don't love one another, if we bite one another, if we are jealous one another, if we fight one another in some of our brother in weakness, in their poor knowledge, if we don't, if we are not trying to cover off them, but if we are trying to open to them all their weakness, and if we are not back up to them, what we are, there is no action of the love. The action of the love is we must try to cover for our brother weakness. And we should not do anything of the backbiting. And we should not do that any inserted envy with our brother. But we must always manifest what is the love. Jesus Christ is love. Our God is love. God is love. So we also must love. Jesus said that I give unto you a new commandment that you love one another. Yes, I love unto you so that you will know you are my disciple. You are my disciple if you love one another. Yes. We must love one another. So love of the Jesus Christ is to do good things to everyone. To do Always beautiful things for each and every one. Nothing should be the work of the Sidon, evils, devils, 
this will not give any chance, any place, any room to come to our heart. The love of Christ is dominated in your heart, predominated in our heart. So we think only good things. We think no jealous to any other. So I love of that. I like of that. And Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40. Love your God. Jesus said that. That is the first one. With all your heart. With all your strength. And with all your soul. And the second thing is, love to your neighbors. That is, yes, you love yourself. That is, yes, you love yourself. So Jesus said, if we love to our God with all our heart, with all our strength, with all our soul, if you can love to God more than that, there is none, any other requirement. Love to God is most important. If you love to God, you are the victory over the world. We are the victory over the world if we can love to God. But the thing is, not ever to love to God. Many Christians are become cheating and become liar. I love to God. I love to God. Oh God, I love to you. And in the prayer time, from the heart and loud, we will speak. Oh, my Lord, my God, I love to you and heal my sickness, my family sickness. We will pray. We will pray. We will pray uh, very earnestly. But the thing is, we do not love to others. We do not love to our brothers. So that the Bible says, you are the liar. You do not love. To your brother and you say I love God I love God how can it be how is it that is the liar you know in the Bible what it say in the Bible it say that at the last day it will come to heaven Lord am I not Professor, in your name, Lord, am I not fit to you food when you are in hungry? Lord, am I not give to you water when you are thirsty? When when you are sick, am I not visit to you, Lord? But Christ will say, "Who you are? I never knew you. I never know you. I do not know to you who you are. Get it out from me." And they will be thrown into the blaze where the eternal doorman was. But the one who come to him and say to him, Lord, when I serve to you and when you are hungry, I never see you, I do not know you. But Christ will say to him, come, inherit my kingdom. I am thirsty. When I'm thirsty, you are giving me water. When I am a stranger, you took me in your home and you give me shelter. And when I was sick, you are visited me and you served me. For which you are giving one of the least your brother and your sister. For you are helping one of the least of your sister and your brother. That is you serve to me. Same way. Love to your brother is love to your God. There is no any other way that we can love to God. If we love to God, we must love to our brother and sister. That is love to God. Hate to your brother, hate to your sister, and love to God is, this is a liar. This is a cheating, the Bible says. So today, because of I do not love to Jesus Christ, I do not love to God. I don't want to attend the church, the church, number one. 
because of I do not love Jesus Christ. I do not have to the helpless people. Because of I do not love Jesus Christ. I do not <clears throat> care for all my brother and my sister. That is due to the lack of love. But my brother and sister, we will not be the Christian of the namesake, but we will be the Christian, a true Christian, Christian which are bearing the true fruit that we must be one of that. We must be one of that. And thank you very much for today. I will stop from here. And <clears throat> next time we will try to meet again in the next program. So for you are <clears throat> hearing the word of God, be attentively our God, our mighty father may be Remain with his joy and with his love to you all. Amen. Amen, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your very good message from the word of God. May God bless you. And now I convey time to Pastor Wilson for singing a song. Sound upon sound. It is gone. It is gone. It has risen from the dead. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it from the dead, it's gone, every room, every that Jesus Christ is the is Once again to Pastor Wilson's, that's a lovely and amazing song, wonderful song, and inspiring song. Thank you. And thank you everyone for your editing here and for your very good time you given up here today. And Ashish is here or not? Ashish has come or not today? Ashish not come. Uh, Ashish not come yet. Sure. Brother Lung Lang, can you pray for the conclusion? 
Okay. Yeah. Can Just you hear me? Up. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Let us pray. Loving God, Heavenly Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness and faithfulness. Lord, you have given us a new commandment. Love one another as I love you. Lord, as long as we live on this earth, help us to love one another as you love us. Thank you, Lord, for your servant who spoke through your word of God. Lord, we are blessed. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your promise. Your promise never failed. Your word never failed. Thank you for each and everyone here this evening. As you listen your word, help us to grow spiritual life, family life, and our society life. Thank you, Lord, for your protection and provision. Thank you for today's Zoom student practice, practical service. Lord, those who are joining us, you bless them, bless their life, whatever they do and wherever they go, and help us to meet again in the next session, next meeting. Lord, thank you once again. We commit every, every, each and every one your mic again. Bless us together. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen.